Welcome back to Pizza Tower, the noise update! I love how you're trying to slow him down. She's like, you can't stop the noise! He is, he, he, he is too fast. It's a Sonic Unleashed problem. He's just too damn fast. Hey, at least you, he's not part of a DLC that's near impossible to do for $10 a pop. That's true. We'll wear the candy wrapper for now. <laughs> Rocking the fur too long. Alright, we're heading up to floor three today. Floor three, number three. The third floor. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a number three. Uh, with extra olives, please. Alright, let's start off at Crust Cove. Here we go! You know, that just doesn't sound appetizing. Crust Cove? I mean, that could sound like a pizza joint, but like 10 p.m. pizza or something like that. It's like, oh yeah, I'm heading down to Crust Cove. Sounds pretty good. Well, you gotta have the right crust, though. Yeah. If their crust isn't that good, then why even call it Crust Cove? I haven't been a chance to go to a new pizza joint yet. Oh yeah, I haven't either. But I will tell you what I do have waiting for me when I get home tonight. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's two kinds of pizzas that I get at uh, the supermarket. There's the frozen pizzas, of course. And then there's the deli pizzas. I beg your pardon, what? Oh, of course. oh, you don't know about deli pizzas? Yeah, you, know, you go over to the uh, the frozen section, you got you got the pizzas in a cardboard box, you know, yeah, you, yeah. You, you can't see them, it's like, what, it's like seven, eight dollars for a, for a tiny puny pizza with all the frozen ingredients on it? Or you could go over to where the deli is, where they have pizzas out in the front in their little refrigerator place. Oh. So it's not, it's not all frozen, it's all fresh, and it's bigger, and it's cheaper! Oh my god! Are you telling me? In the year of our Lord 2024, it is actually cheaper to buy fresh. Well, I mean, it's like an $8 14-inch pie. That's insanely good. And it's got, like, old world pepperoni. It's like cute pepperoni and, like, the the regular uh, kind of pepperoni. Oh, so it's got, two, it's got two kinds of freaking pepperoni. Yes. On it. I like to add my own cheese as well. Oh, what do you add? Just, you know, uh, mozzarella, really. Gorgonzola? It's no. the first cheese that came ah! to Oh, jeez! Well, uh, the barrel works differently for the noise here. Mm. He doesn't bounce off walls, he just kind of keeps going. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Was Pepino able to stop? Yeah, he could stop. Oh, okay. But just that when he would hit a wall, he would, you know, reflect off. Oh, okay. It's just kind of different for him. It's always different for the noise. Okay, I need to ask you something. Yeah. What are your opinions on gas station pizza? I I'm talking, you're on your lunch break, you hit up a speedway and they got some slices out. What do you do? Hmm. It depends on the pizza. And depends how much I pay for it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Speedway normally does, like, what? Two for three fifty or something like that. So uh, every March fourteenth, they have something called Pie Day. Oh yeah, where you get uh, you get one of their free, or not not free. You get one of their uh, one of their pizzas for three dollars and fourteen cents. Oh, ooh, that's ooh. well. That must mean they're like cheap, right? But they taste pretty good. The the cheese is of a particularly low quality. Yeah, yeah. It's got mostly melt over taste. Uh, the sauce is a little on the bare side. The crust is honestly not that bad. No, it's not. It's it's pretty flaky. I, and I think it being freshly made right then and there is the big determining factor there. So, is there a place in this world for gas station pizza? Yes, there is. I guess gas station sushi though. No, oh, no. Now there was a time uh, right in my early twenties I was living off. Uh, speedway points, so yeah. I would always have to get like gas station pizza. It's like, oh, you got a, f a free soda. I was like, oh, I'll get that too. Yeah, those dry ass burgers uh, saved my life more than one occasion. I, yeah, and but I was thinking the other day, I was like, I don't think I've ever had like a truly bad gas station slice, except for like, yeah, this is you can tell it's been out all day, so it's just utterly garbage. The pizza went bad, not that it was bad to begin with, right? Right, right. So, I will always give the BOTD to gas station pizza. So if you're getting what you pay for. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I think that's been my philosophy in my 
later adult years, you know, 25 to 30, you get what you paid for. Like my apartment, I get what I paid for! Yeah, well, you know... <laughs> I don't think there's any, like, you know, the awful points that it's just the same story as I brought up in the, in the other one. Because I don't eat bad pizza. I've, I've been having great pizza lately. I'm trying to think. Okay, what is a... What's a pizza that you're just not fond of? Because for me, it's barbecue pizza. I'm not a fan of barbecue sauce, so I can't do that pie. Well, I love barbecue sauce, but I don't think it belongs on pizza. That's not what I go to pizza for. You're going for the for the Italian method, right? I, I go for the Italians. I, I've, I've had a breakfast pizza. Oh, that's so good. Those are, or, no, no, not a, a, a dessert pizza. I've oh, had, okay, I've those are better. Dessert pizza. <laughs> those are better. Oh yes. Most of us used to have like these deep dish dessert pizzas. You put like you know chocolate frosting in them and then top them with like M and M's. It was it was the, it was the shit, man. I've got a story for you. Yeah. Well, while you're thinking about a pizza that everybody else is fond of that uh, you're not particularly fond of, Papa John's for me. But that's no secret. Uh, let's go for uh, flavor. Flavor. Like a pre-made pizza, like chicken bacon ranch, like barbecue pizza, something like that. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and think about that, because uh, my first job was at a pizza place. Oh. An Italian restaurant slash pizza place. That's right, I remember. And uh, we always got to experimenting. You know, we're <laughs> always trying to find the next big thing, me and the other teenagers that were back there. And we were thinking, well, what if, what if this place actually had a dessert pizza? You know, we got... Some fixins. We don't have the best fixins, but you know we can make do with what we have. So lay down a crust. That yeah, crust yeah, can do a lot of work for it. <laughs> lay you know, down. Gotta... Hershey syrup. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> a little, little watery on lay this. Down, uh, we're, we're working with it. Lay down bacon bits. <laughs> okay, uh... you're taking a right turn here. <laughs> go back. Go and, back. And uh... you had me until the bacon bits. <laughs> bacon bits. Bacon bits. Not not the real. Pieces of bacon, like the soy chips, right? Uh, let's just say diced bacon, it's, it's, but not not like actual like salad bacon bits, like in the plastic jar or whatever. It's, I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's not. I don't know. See, that was also the another part of the experimental phase where I worked at Arby's and me and another manager were like, "What if we just like." Wrapped fucking bacon around a mozzarella stick and threw it in the fryer, and that sucker exploded immediately. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm not a big fan of bacon on pizza. I can understand that. I, do, I don't think it adds anything, you know. There's, there's so many other better pork options, and bacon, I think, just coats the entire thing in grease. It makes it way too salty, too. It's just... Uh, when I... Disappointing. When I get into bacon. FPS mode, you know, fat piece of shit mode, I'll go for bacon. I'll do it. So you always go for bacon! Absolutely, dude. <laughs> I gotta be in the mood for bacon. It, like, the, people misuse bacon all the time. It, it frustrates me. Yes. Well, I mean, the internet had its own bacon phase. Yeah. It was bound to happen anyway. What the fuck is that middle one? <laughs> It's the noise. He so, looked... uh, the, the way that Gnome Forest works is a little, is, uh, well, it's certainly, uh, something. You got me curious. Yeah. Because this is where we get our first introduction of, uh, Gustav and Brick. Mm hmm. But, you know, those are Pepino's friends, not the noises. So, I've been asking them this question who do we get instead of Gustav and Brick? Uh, Mrs. Noise. That'd be a... Noisette. Okay, maybe. Uh, the Noid. They bought the rights they, to the Noid. They cut the rights to the Noid?! Good job, Pizza Man. You know, I have not had Domino's in I don't know how long. I didn't like it. I, and, like, I think it has been literally decades. Maybe I'm just buying into the hate, but maybe I should try it again at some point. It has to be in us region. Because everywhere else apparently loves Domino's. Hmm. We, our state is the only one that despises Domino's. I don't know what is happening. Because we got better pizza! Well, maybe that's why. Maybe every other place just has really sucky pizza. <laughs> we make real fucking pizza here. <laughs> so we have good taste. Yeah, that's, I think... That's gotta be it. Ohio makes the best pizza. Uh, that's, well... Like, Chicago pizza? Nah. New York pizza? No, it's places in, in between. Oh, seriously? So he just gets another noise! <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> the, <laughs> the noise, noise and noise. Yeah. Whack. 
<laughs> Wait, on God? It just says wag. <laughs> Boom! Did I ever tell you that I own a copy of The Noid, the NES game? Oh, really? I inherited a bunch of NES games uh, from my brother-in-law, and one of them was The Noid. <laughs> Interesting. I tried it. It's actually not that bad. Well, most of those licensed games back then weren't that bad because it was kind of hard to make a... I mean, you just had to follow the right design philosophies, and the, the design philosophies back then were kind of... Oh god, it was the Wild West, so... I, we're gonna have to verify that statement then. It was also made by Capcom. Statement verified. Yep, yep. <laughs> and it, yeah, it was actually kind of fun, but... Uh, I think I also own a copy of The Noid 2. I'm going to have to look into that. Wasn't that a fan game? What are you talking about? You telling me The Noid didn't actually have to go collect uh, Papa John's pizza in order to defeat Hatsune Miku? Hatsune Miku was Domino's. Wasn't The Noid also Domino's? Shit. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Like, what did Pizza Hut have? They have got Jack- no, they had Pizza Face. Not this Pizza Face, the real Pizza Face. Oh god, how do I remember that? Oh no! Oh. And, and his, uh, his arch rival, the Pizza Cutter. I'm bringing it all back. I watched all the commercials when I was a young lad. I don't think these gnomes shoot their arrows at me. No, they wave at you. They're a friend. They're a friend. Gremlin recognizes Gremlin. Oh. God, they're <laughs> flying all over the place. So, uh... The Did way... You? Yeah, so uh, the way you get the toppings in this one is you gotta do the, the stopwatch thing. Uh, <laughs> the noise rejects that. He kills the stopwatch and he just blows the house down. <laughs> okay. Did the noise always have the attitude of actually fuck off? Yeah. That's so good. I He's a little gremlin. I'd like to think that's a little bit of mercy on the part of the developer. Just like, just go fast. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just go fast. Okay. Like, like you said, this is a uh, new game plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi. So, ju so just, just run around and do it again, but faster and crazier. There was pure malice in the noise's eyes there. That was pretty amazing. I know it's very slow, and it kills my momentum to do an upward uh, punch like that, but it just feels so good, so satisfying. That's what we're here for. I feel like, like Warrior Land 3 would have desperately needed that. We'd actually considered that. Is that, that still on the table? The only reason why I haven't considered it is because, you know, there's two rearing its ugly head. What, Warrior Land 2? Yeah, Warrior Land 2. Oh. But it's... Not a good game to let's play, really, because of how you get the collectibles. I mean, I played it back in the day. Half the game is uh, guess, guess the number. Yep. That takes a lot of the fun out of it. So I might just skip it and do Warrior Land three. That is an option. That is an option. Because Warrior Land four is one I actually want to get to. I love that game. You played four. I did play. Have four. you ever played three? Uh, no. I love three more than four. Mm. Might be Wario time after some pizza. Uh, Actually, I'm not going to get people's hopes up. It's an idea. Well, when you least expect it, it'll show up. <laughs> like right now! Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Welcome to Wario Land 3! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> just actually, this was a Wario Land playthrough. <laughs> just right in the middle of a just smash cut to another to another series. Have we ever done that? Like played the shortest version of a game in the middle of the game? I'm trying to think. I, I kind of did a joke with Metroid Two. I think we count that because I was like, "Hey, here's Metroid 2. Wow, it sucks. Let's do the let's do the remake. Yeah. Anyway. Oh! Yeah, Metroid 2 sucks so bad that uh, fans tried to make another Metroid 2 remake. And then and then it's like, no, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. We'll do it, it's fine. 
stop. We're gonna do it. What on earth right, are you doing? Right, noise. You, you need to. You need to work with me here. Come on, man. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. There we, there we go. go. Come on. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's how you achieve flight. Got it. We're good. Oh yeah. Did you think of your uh, pizza that a lot of people like that you're not just a fan of? It, it's it's Papa John's. It's all. It always has been. But I don't even know if people like Papa John's. I think it's just the, the, the blandest shit. Well, what about uh, pre-made pizzas? Pre-made pizzas. I think California Pizza Kitchen is overrated. Well, what pre-made do they have? Do they have like a Meat Lovers, a Chicken Bacon Ranch, a Hawaiian? They're, they're, they're like the fancy pizza kind of people, you know? Like, you know, sound more like sandwiches than pizza that type of deal. They charge an extra seven bucks for it, I think. Woo! Like, I think their frozen is just like nine bucks. God damn. Meanwhile, the, the the deli pizza I got in my fridge, taking up the entire first row of my fridge, is like eight bucks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> if you ask me, that's worth it. And they were wrapping things up here on the on this end of the forest. Like taking a slice home for consumption later. There we go. All right. You want to know the difference between a good and a bad pizza? Uh, the delivery. Well, uh, there's a lot of things, but here is here's a good way to, to tell. This is mainly about crust. Mm -hmm. You get your pizza, and then the next morning you eat it uh, just just right there, room temperature. How is the crust? Is it just a hard piece of shit, or does it still have some uh, some moisture to it? Interesting. I think the crab pizza, like, you know, your frozen crust, you know, all the moisture's taken out, so it just kind of just hardens. You know, pizza Hut does that does that a lot. Little Caesars does that, too. <laughs> Little Caesars is so funny to me. They got a good business model. I admire it. Their pizza is only good up to about 45 minutes after you buy it. <laughs> In my opinion. It depends on what you get. They've been, they've been up in their game on their pizza lately, and I've, I've been impressed. I swear the last time I got it, I was like, oh, this is great. Ate about three slices, and I was like, I'll save this till tomorrow. And damn near inedible <laughs> the next day. It doesn't, it doesn't sit well as much as other, other other pizza does, though. Yeah, but again, you get what you paid for. You do. Cheap pizza that makes stomach happy. Mm -hmm. For a, a little while, at least, and that doesn't make Mr. Di uh, Digestive Track happy. Nah. Ugh. Noise is having a conniption fit up in the top right. Good God! <laughs> Just go faster, will you? He's gonna pull off his bottom jaw. Ah! I'd prefer a an an, an sorap. I prefer a sausage or a pepperoni. See, that's all he's saying. He's telling you his preferences on pizza. Instead, we get A for anchovies, because that was some fishy gameplay. <laughs> Have you ever had anchovies? I haven't. They're kind of okay. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, we can pay Noisette uh, to open up the boss door, so, uh, hey, I guess we might as well, so, uh... Here, here you go, sweetheart. 200 bucks! 200 bucks, open the door, please, honey bun. Uh, it's a wet one! Uh! Oh, she kissed you so hard you flew into the tutorial. Oh, oh looks, my god. That looks like a different kind of room. Is that Dennis? Huh. <laughs> I wonder what this could be. I guess we'll find out next time on Pizza Tower The Noise Update! Yeah! yeah! See you then. <laughs>